So I went to see Brian. I said, I want to turn pro. And Brian says, you know what, Pat? He says, it's going to be difficult, but we'll do it. I said, why is it going to be difficult, Brian? He goes, oh, number one, he says, you've done nothing as an amateur. So it's, it's going to be hard to get you with a good promoter. And he goes, number two, you can't sell tickets. And I said, no disrespect when I say this to you, Pat. Number three, you're a black fighter. And I said, well, I've seen black fighters do well, Brian. He goes, yeah, I know. But you're a black fighter with them things, what I've just told you. So it's going to be very hard for you. But leave it to me and I'll think of something. Anyway, the next day I see him and Jim goes, right, here's what we're going to do. I've got a plan. He goes, you're going to be a journeyman. And I didn't even have a clue what a journeyman was at the time. Bear this in mind, I'm, what, 19 years old. Yeah. And I go, what's a journeyman? And he goes, he said another word um, called cannon fodder. Have you heard of that word? Yeah, sure. He said cannon fodder. So I said, what's cannon fodder? He goes, Pat, it's someone who meant to get beat. And I, again, I looked at him with this shot look because I was lost. I'm like, you want, you want me to get beat? Because no. This is what they expect you to get beat, yeah? But this is how we're going to do. We're going to be in the gym. We're going to work on defence. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And do you know what? He had he had everybody in that gym gloved up. And I'm talking, it must have been about 10 kids gloved up, lined up. He goes, right, you, try and knock him out. And I sit on the ropes and catch, 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 catch. Like you, even up to the biggest kids. Hit him, hit him, he say. I want you to knock him out. And they're coming and they're swinging him, makers, And I'm catching them and blocking and the whole moral of that, he said to me, because when you turn up yeah, to fight these kids as the underdog, they're going to try and knock you out. But they're going to use so much energy in trying to knock you out. I have to fight. You're going to knock them out. And he always had a plan for everything, Brian. He always had a plan. And you know what? He was right. The only person that beat me in my third fight, and I think I was, only having, I was on my third fight with a kid called Bob Hurt. That's right. And he must have been about five and all. Yeah, or four and all. Yeah, something like two knockouts. It was good kids, you know. And what it was, I was winning the fight. The fight was like this, and he caught me with a, I don't know what punch, but it was a flash knockdown, and it just turned it round, and we lost the fight on a dead close margin. And you know, that day when I went home, it was my third fight, I'd never felt so devastated in my whole entire life. He thought I'd just been knocked out. And I remember Brian saying, listen, Pat, all the great fighters lose a fight. Sugar Ray Leonard lost a fight. Muhammad Ali lost a fight. Um, Sugar Ray Robinson lost fights. Listen, they don't make a difference. It's how you come back from that loss. You're only as good as your last performance. If you have a good win now, don't forget about that loss. From that, I never got beat. I was undefeated as a light welterweight. Yeah, I went on to do many things.